All right, today we're gonna to talk about the county clerk D recorder Margaret Cavell office. So you can see that right there in your county, the clerk office is the D, the recorder, the marketer, and Cavell office. Now what? It have jurisdiction over these things right here about to say. Here we go. Your bail bondsman. When you go in front of that judge, the judge said bail bond in, in hearing, right? Well, bail bond cannot bail you out. Bond and honey cannot come after you without that county clerk recording office. And you always can undo that at the clerk recording office. Here we go. All bail bondsmen. All bail bond, bounty hunter, bail, all must be recorded. A deed and mortgage and conveyor at the office, at your clerk office. Right here, all misdemeanor, Oregon, uh, county, state, and federal felony charge and arrest all go back right here. At that county clerk, D, recorded mortgage, conveyor of whatever your county call it, that's where it's gonna be at. All elected public officials who took the oath and bond, you know, where well, you know took the oath of office and, and had public bond, and now elected appointed official like a state trooper, if that state trooper is federal agent live in your county. Or it's a state park or a correctional officer, or it's a, uh, a you know, a, a, a city county worker or a city worker that, that live in that county. I don't care what city, but if they live in that county, they all must have bond, whether they're elected or not. They must have bond to force any statute or city law or county law. They must have bond, and you can find it right here for the public official and not elected official. Like dog animal control, parking meter, uh, your DMV, they all must have it right here. If they pointed to that position and elected to that position, they must have it right here. All right, here we go. All county, city, and state, and federal judge live in that county where you at. If they live in that county, they buy an O. Um, all should be right there. Everything about them should be right here at the clerk recording office. If they live in that county. Because that clerk have jurisdiction over all of them. Now, I go to what we call all conviction, sentence, probation, parole. Um, here we go. Uh, death center. De you know, death center, jury, plea deal in the city, county, and state and federal jail and prison again the county clerk have jurisdiction over what all conviction all sentence all probation parole and death sentence um plea deal in the city in the county in the state and federal jail and prison if it happened in that county where it happened at that clerk have jurisdiction they can't get around that. Always remember that. They cannot get around that. By law, they cannot get around that. And here we go. I go to right here. All motion pleading, court order, contempt of court, arrest, search warranty, uh, judgment, and default judgment. So many type forms, you know, any, any type of court form. All these forms, all these pleading, all these motion, all these order. All had to go right here, back to the county where the crime happened at, or where the uh, defender or complaint happened at. It had to go right back. It had to be recorded. If it ain't recorded, it's non void. All these things I'm saying is non void. It's not recorded. And you can always get it and undo it. You always gonna do it. And here we go, right here. All arrests, right here say all arrests, fingerprint, mud shot. Now, people have a, 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 a you know, misunderstanding that 
the city police, your state police, your sheriff have the fingerprint, the mud shot. But what if I told you that the fingerprint could be found at the county clerk recording office and the mud shot could also could be found at that county clerk, uh, you know, the county clerk uh, recording office. And guess what? They have jurisdiction over that. The police is not the clerk. The clerk is the clerk of the court. They're not the clerk of the court. They might be the clerk that doing a process of bugging, but it's the clerk who do the filing and the signing and the certify and the process of the uh, uh, of the fingerprint. Cause the old law, fingerprint must have always been with the clerk office. Always been with the clerk office. So now look at that again. So your your arrest, your fingerprint. And your mud shot should be right there at the clerk recording office, right here. It should be right there, always, always. That includes police affidavit too. If a police have a police witness that at the police station make a police uh, statement or making a police statement on the street, that belongs to the clerk office too. Remember that, it belongs to the clerk. It does not belong to the police department. The police must hand over it. The state trooper must hand it over. If that federal agent come in that county where you live at, it must hand it over to the clerk office. It could be nine void. It could be nine void. It's the way how you do it. All right, let's look at this right here. It said right here, all city police department, sheriff department, and state police department, uh, a federal agent, um, federal law enforcement, right? Well, guess what? They cannot be in that county without this county clerk recorder office. I'll say it again. If you got a city police department or a town police department or a sheriff department and a state police department and a federal agent where they, uh, where they IRS office or FBI, ATF, if they're in your county, uh, Motor Vehicle DMV, so the kid office, if they in your county, that county clerk got jurisdiction. And guess what? Everything must be filed with them in that county. They have jurisdiction. And here we go, right here. Now let's talk about the lien. All lien by IRF, federal, city, county, and state, and garnish wage, wagemen, right? Now we know they always do these so-called lien against person but the lien should have a court order a court judgment but you can undo the lien by IRS you could do the lien by the federal you could do the lien by the city you could do the unlien by the county and you could do the unlien by the state and you could do the unguarded lien if there's no court judgment and also it had to be filed at the county clerk recorded office remember that the clerk got to certify everything the clerk must sign the signature and side print. And also, it, it must put the county clerk seal on there to be valid. Remember that. This go for center at death row center. Probation parole, halfway, uh, you know, halfway house, uh, go to alcohol community, drug, drug community, testing, whatever you want to call it. The clerk must sign it and print it and certify it and put it, file it into the record. All right, that go right here. All right, here we go. And I look at this right here called all election, local, city, and county, and state, and federal. Now, this is where Donald Trump can have a problem because these crooked county clerk, the crooked county clerk is the problem that Americans have. You know, these, these crooked county clerk take bribery. They take phony charge. They sign phony conviction. They... They sign phony probation parole. They do phony bail, bail, bail hearing. They put phony judge on the bench. They set phony prosecutor, uh, a state charge, city charge, whatever. The county clerk responsible for that. A lot of people don't realize that. Again, the county clerk is responsible for all election. That's right. They're responsible for all the mayor election in that county. They're responsible for all city council uh, elections. They're responsible for 
statewide election like insurance commission, the state treasury, the governor race, the state representative, the state senator race, they responsible for the U.S. Congress race, where it's the U.S. representative and the, uh, the U.S. Senate office. They are responsible for the election in that county. So we got to hold these people responsible. They must certify, sign, it, and seal it at valid. And remember, they are responsible for all elections in your county. And this is why Donald Trump is have a problem. That's why he said the election was stolen. And I can tell who helped uh, steal the election for Donald Trump. The clerk. The clerk let dead people vote. Illegal immigrant vote. That's right. That's right. The election was stolen. I said it was stolen. All right, here we go. The county, here you go again. The county clerk had jurisdiction over all. I mean, had jurisdiction over all mayor, city councilor, and government worker. That means they got jurisdiction over all city hall, town hall in your county. You know what I'm saying? Look, your county might have what five mayor and five city, and the rest might be unincorporated. But that county clerk. That county clerk got jurisdiction over them. Remember that. That county clerk got jurisdiction over them. That's why they the most powerful person in the country. More powerful than the president, governor. You know, they are more powerful people. People need to understand that policy. All right. Again, they have jurisdiction over what? All mayor, city councilor, and government worker. All right, here we go. That goes down to here. Say. The county clerk, deed, recording, mortgaging, and conveyor office jurisdiction over who? Over all public, Catholic, private school, where it's charter to, trade school, technology school, technical school, like mechanical school, something like that, fixing cars, motorcycle. Uh, they have, you know what I'm saying, they over jurisdiction over the college, all type of college, and university. In their county, cause guess what? The deeds are property. The deed must be filed at the clerk office at all times. That's right. That county clerk got jurisdiction over what? Public school, Catholic, private, trade, technology, technical school, college, and what? Universal school. All right, right here. That's the boss right there. And right here, let's go down here. Right here it said, the county clerk have jurisdiction over who? All city, county, and state, and federal park. That's right. They got jurisdiction over street sign, sidewalk. They have jurisdiction over the bridge, the interstate. They have jurisdiction over everything. You see, like the mall, you see that? They got jurisdiction over that. The sidewalk, the street, the avenue, the boulevard, the river wall, the zoo, they have jurisdiction over all of that. Again, they have what? City, county, and state, and federal park. If that park is located inside that county where you live at, I guarantee that county clerk got jurisdiction over all of that. And let me make this very clear. I want you to see this right here. Again, county clerk deed recorded, mortgage. Conveyor office jurisdiction over all this right here. That's right. They have jurisdiction over all bail bond, bounty hunter, bail. They have jurisdiction over all misdemeanor and ordinance and county and state and federal felony um, charge and arrest. They also have what? They have jurisdiction over all, all elected official. Oh, and bond, public bond, and nine elected official appointed. So, in other words, if an IRS is appointed in your county, and get what? If that IRS live in that county, get what? It better be a point, you know what I'm saying? They better have a bond to represent that uh, that federal law. If that state trooper live in your county, guess what? That state trooper better have a bond and an oak uh, 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 registered with that, uh, you know, with that, uh, with that clerk office. You know, if he pays his bill in that county, guess what? He better be there. And also, they have what? They have all county, city, and state, and federal judge. If that judge live in that county, I guarantee 
You can find out about his address and everything, including the prosecutor too. This includes the prosecutor and the attorney. Remember this, public attorney, private attorney, and a, uh, a D8 assistant attorney. They all must file with the county clerk where they live at. And you know, if they work in there and got the office in there, they must file with the clerk office as a uh, special appearance and notice of parent. They must file with the clerk. All right, here we go. Again, you know, we're gonna go back over all these stuff real quick. All right, again, all conviction center, probation, parole, halfway house, death row center, uh, a, a, a arrest warrant, search warrant, um, judgment, and default judgment, any type of form of pleading or motion. That county clerk got all jurisdiction. And remember this, that county clerk must certify all these centers. They must certify all these motions in order. They must sign that. Because see, people got the bad idea that the judge must sign these things. No, the clerk must sign it and certify it. Two, two signature. Now we're a signature and a print. And the clerk seal on there. It's like that. If a jury find you guilty, now we know the foreman gonna sign it, right? And put the foreman seal on there. Well, what if I told you that's invalid? Well, guess what? If the, if the clerk did not sign it, that whole conviction invalid. If the judge signed it, but the clerk did not sign right behind the judge, guess what? It's invalid. You know what I'm saying? It could be recorded, but it's still invalid. No, it's not in front on that conviction or parole or probation. It's not convicted. I mean, it's not in void. Remember that, not in void if that clerk don't sign it. Again, that goes right here. All rest, fingerprint must shot. It does not belong to the police station. The police, my hand, the police station must hand it over to the clerk office. And sometimes, you know, sometimes, a lot of people don't realize this, but if you get fingerprinted by the sheriff, by the police department, and you know, they interrogate you and everything, or interrogate the witness, or the victim, all that belongs to the clerk. It belong to the clerk, whether you know it or not. It belong to the goddamn clerk. Always remember that. It belong to the clerk office. It had to be recorded as evidence. Or, 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 or you know, it's not done. And right here, all city police department, sheriff department, state police department, and federal agent, aka law enforcement, IRS, uh, DMV, State, state transportation, way station, scale house, whatever you want to call it. City Hall, the county clerk recorded off of got jurisdiction. Again, they have jurisdiction over these people and them building. Remember that. Remember that. Um, all lean by the IRS, federal, city, and, and county, and state. You know, these, you know, these people do lean. You know what I'm saying? And you're going to undo that. Come out there, you got to get a court order. You know what I'm saying? You got to get a court judgment. Find you guilty to do a lien. You know? They just cannot do a lien without a judgment. That's illegal. You know what I'm saying? That's illegal. And that could be uh, undone. Trust me. It could be undone. And garnishment way. All that had to get a court order. All right. All election in local, city, county, and state, federal. That county clerk called off got jurisdiction. Remember that. That county clerk got jurisdiction. That's a powerful place, man. Y'all need to understand that. I'm going to break down a lot of stuff to y'all. Y'all just don't understand. My mind much stronger than anybody. All right, here we go. You know, that county clerk got jurisdiction over who? Guess what? Mayor, city, counselor, and government worker, aka state legislature, staff member, governor. That's right. Uh, even the president. That county clerk got jurisdiction. You know? That county clerk got jurisdiction. Remember that. Right here, the county clerk, D. Ricardo Marguerite Cavell Office. It have jurisdiction over these people. Again, all public, Catholic, private school, trade, technology, technical school, college and university, institutional school. Again, right here. Right there. The county clerk got jurisdiction over these people, over the institution. And guess what? All city, county, and state, and federal park. Where you in the city park, town park, 
uh, private park, uh, a federal park, a state park. That's in your county. In your county. Right here. That county clerk got jurisdiction over there. Every day had to, it could cause a D. That D had to be recorded. It had to be certified by the clerk. You know what I'm saying? It had to be certified and put into the record. You know what I'm saying? You cannot have a park without a D. And you cannot have a park without the clerk signing it and record it. That's fact. That's law. That's fact. That's old law. That's old law by the founder of the Constitution. All right, here we go. Now, all these could be undone. I put it right here. Here you go. Here you go. Right here. Check this out. Here you go. Right here. Say it. All felony. All felony plus uh, federal conviction and state conviction, really, and city conviction can be undone from where? Right here at the county clerk recorded office. Again, all felony, whether local, state, federal conviction can be undone from where? Right here at the county clerk recorded office. You gotta know what you're looking for to undo it. I know it. You know, you just gonna go in that clerk office and try to look for something. No, I know what I'm looking for. When t you know, trying to do it. And right here, check this out. Guess what? Right here, it said, right here, it said, you can get any one out of city, state, federal prison, and it can be done from where? Right here. If a federal agent arrests you in your city, right here, the most important thing I always tell people, I don't care about the city. I care about the county where the uh, federal agent arrests you at. I say that county, you know, the federal agent like ATF or the FBI arrests you, right? They arrest you and bring you to a whole new different jurisdiction, another county or another state. All right, guess what? If that federal agent had arrested you in, say, Bob County, and bring you all the way to Harry County, way in Houston, Texas. Well, guess what? We got to find out where's the court that have that the federal court have jurisdiction over what? Bob County. And, and guess what? If Bob County is located in northeast, northeast Texas, and Harry County is located in south, uh, southeast Texas, guess what? The proper jurisdiction is what? Northeast County. And second, that federal agent better have a federal. I'm gonna say it right here, everybody. That federal agent better have a federal arrest filed with the clerk and the sheriff in Bob County. If not, it's not and void. It's not and void. That's right. I'll say it again. That federal arrest and conviction could be not and void if Bob County clerk recorded of it did not have a federal arrest affidavit. You know what I'm saying? To make that arrest. And the sheriff does not have a copy of it. So it's nine bar Again, right here. You can't get what? Anyone out of city, state, and federal prison. It can be undone from where? Right here at the county clerk recorded office. Always remember that. Right here. Remedy. Here you go. Right here again. Here go your remedy again. You can shut down a court case from where the county clerk recorded off it that's right you could do it. it it's how you file your motion now now it's how you file your motion right here i could tell you how you file your motion in court you know i had to take time and watch too many people on youtube do crazy things do dumb things do i mean do super dumb things get themselves locked up when it could be properly done it could be properly done right, you know. How you talk to the police is how you get your case win. It's like this. I don't answer any question because it violates the Fourth Amendment. It violates the Fifth Amendment. You know what the Fourth Amendment is, right? And you know what the Fifth Amendment is. But also, what if I told you? What if I told you you could use Article 4? I don't answer any question. Because why? It, you know what I'm saying? It violated Article 4, Section 2. Because guess what? Guess what? If nobody don't have a warrant for you, that means that mean you're not a fugitive. It, 
If you understand that law, if you understand that law, I just told you Article 4, Section 2. And remember this, Article 4, Section 1 is powerful. It, here is Article 4 right here, Section 1 right here. The deed, the recorded mortgage, and conveyor offer jurisdiction. You see what I'm saying? This is right here, Article 4, Section 1 right here. But remember this, you have to file your motion the right way. You always remember that you gotta get a prosecutor, the other party. Before you get judge a motion, you must get the other side the motion first. Judge cannot get that first. The, the other side must get that. Then you can get that judge that. Once the judge said you get that, you know, get the other person the motion first, then he accept it. You see what I'm saying? Some of y'all so dumb and crazy. Some of y'all give the judge the motion or your paper, but don't get the prosecutor uh, the paper first. You know, you want to know why a judge ain't going to touch it. All right. Now, that goes right here. Again, all this could be a thing. I'm going to go back. I'm going to go back right here again. All felony and federal conviction can be undone from where? County clerk, deed, recorded, mortgage, conveyor, office, jurisdiction, right there. You can't get anyone out of city, state, and federal prison, and it can be done well from right here. The county clerk, deed, recorded, mortgage, conveyor, office. Always remember that. And you can what? Shut down a court case from where? Right here. It's how you file your motion, how you do your pleading. People don't know how to do motion pleading, man. You know, you want to know why you're incompetent. You know, you get a contempt court, uh, a, a, a court charge against it. All right. And look, I got the remedy right here. Here you go. Remember, the county clerk is what? The most powerful office in the United States of American Republic. I'm going to say it again. The, remember, the county clerk is what? The most powerful office in the United States of American Republic. All right. Now, right here, in your state. I forgot to say that. In your state. That's right. Everybody got a county, and that's the most powerful office right there. Always remember that. Your county clerk is the most powerful office. The mayor offer ain't none. The governor offer ain't none. The, the president offer ain't none. The Congress offer ain't none. It's your clerk. Because why? We the people created who? All these other people. Remember that? The people came first. The county came second. The state came third. They came the federal. I, I'm going to say it again. The people came first. They came the county. They came the state. They came the federal. Now you understand why we the people came from? It came from the county. County merged with other county, other county. Then created what? Boundary and state. And then, then the, other, the other state got together, created what? Federal, federal government. Again. We the people, it's the county. Always remember that. It's not the state, the people. It's not the federal, it's the people. No, the people from the county. All right, here we go. Let's look at this right here. I look at this right here. Uh, right here, it said the county clerk is the what? Enforcer. Let's look at that again. The county clerk is the enforcer of what? It, of the alien property custodian the the general and a power the general power and what the duty he had the general power and the duty of this right here right here right there I don't know what article 4 section 1 article 4 section 1 and section 2 pay attention you read them too, you'll understand all this right here. You'll understand all this right here. You'll understand all this right here. Right here is Article 4, Section 2, and Section 1. I forgot what Section 1 first, this Section 2. Right here. And, and I'm going to say it again. The county clerk is the enforcer of, of alien property custodian. 
That's right. The alien property custodian and general power and duty. AK is the is the guardian of the US Constitution of what? Article 4, Section 1, and Section 2 in your county. You know what I'm saying? In other words, it's the enforcer of all law. It's the force by the people. We the people. This is where we the people came from. Right here. This is where we the people came from. You see? This is what you got to understand, people. Right here. Right here. Now, now, anybody got a question how to get somebody out of jail, but I'm going to say it right here. I don't touch domestic violence. If a man got a history of beating a woman, don't call me to help you out with that. If a man's a rape or a child molester, including a woman, if she is a child molester and a raper, don't call me to help you get that person out. Because I'm a background check that person. You know what I'm saying? But other than that, I can get anybody out. You know what I'm saying? You know, but I ain't going to do it for free. But, you know, but it's simple. You know what I'm saying? You, and you could be the case anytime. You know, you, you could be the case anytime. But other than that, hit me up and let me know what we want to talk about. Now, I want to talk about the bell, uh, you know, the uh, state doing the no bell now. I, I know why they're doing the no bell. I know why they're doing no bell. You want to talk about that? Uh, shoot. But, I mean, we can talk about many things, you know. But to me, I'd rather do the no bell. But also, I want to do the, uh, you know, I want to do what we call the, um, you know, felony. You know what I'm saying? No word. If you just got out of jail, did you know your gun right had been restored? No word. If you get out of state jail or federal jail or city jail, and you completed your sentence. What if I told you you could get your gun back? Even though they ain't gonna tell you that. But guess what? You could get your gun back. You could actually get your gun back. You know, you wanna talk about that? You know what I'm saying? You know, we can talk about it right there. No worries. You can have five felony convictions. But if you completed all of them, you're not on probation parole, guess what? You got a right to have a gun. Self-defense. In other words, you got a right to have it at your house. You have a right to have it on you. You have a right to have it on your car. But what you cannot do with that gun is shoot somebody when you get mad. No, it had to be self-defense. Meaning, in other words, somebody had to rob, you know, try to rob you or take something from you. That's when self-defense come in. Or or all in that, you know, about to be attacked, you know, you could, uh, you know, you know, defend her if a mother try to attack her with a weapon. But what you cannot do with that gun, shoot somebody in the back if that person run. If that person run from you, you know what I'm saying, with no weapon, <coughs> you cannot shoot that person. But other than that, you got to right get your gun back, brother and sister. I don't care what you is. Latino, white, Asian, black, African American, color, whatever you want to call yourself. Asian, Arab, you have a right to get your gun back. And I can prove that. And I can force that too. Nah. Right here, cause see right here, a lot of these crooked ass attorney ain't gonna tell you that. A lot of these judges ain't gonna tell you that. You know what I'm saying? Look, once you get out of uh, prison or, or city jail, a lot of these officer or the correction ain't gonna tell you that that you have a right to get your gun back. And see, before you had 1868, before that Civil War, before the uh, you know the uh, Prohibition Act, people always had their gun back. They always got the gun back, even they did 20 years behind bars. They always had the gun uh, restored back, the liberty store back. You see what I'm saying? But you see right here, people live in these so-called Democrat city state, you know what I'm saying? It's violating your right. And I can tell you right now, you could go after them. Now, how about going after a uh, state representative, a federal uh, representative, when these unelected agencies handcuff you? Or if they, you want to talk about that? Or you want me to do a video on that? Let me know what video you want me to do. You know what I'm saying? Let me know what video you want to do. Other than that, <coughs> hit me back here. Hit me back and let me know what you want to talk about. But other than that, I gave what y'all need to know right here. Right here is your answer for all misery. Right here. It can make you happy. It can make you sad. Right here. All right. And by the way, I am a giant. 
Like I said, if I want to uh, get somebody out of jail, but I, I'm going to say it right here. No raper, no child molester, and no baby killer, and, 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 and no... You know what I'm saying? And no uh, president that shot somebody over $10 and, and, and take somebody's life away for $10. I won't even do it for that right there. Other than that, I do it for everything else, you know. But I won't do it for no predator or no child 